Hi everybody, this is Norma from Brooks Winery. I hope everybody's staying safe and well. Um, I'm gonna be making a little recipe today for pizza and we're gonna start with the dough. To start, we're going to uh, just make sure that you have a mixer, KitchenAid mixer, mixer is perfectly fine. You wanna use the hook attachment, which is meant for dough. If you have a food processor, um, those will also come with a hook blade that you can use. We're gonna start with um, some all-purpose flour. All of these ingredients today were actually weighed out rather than um, just use like a cup scoop. So this is going to be six pounds of all-purpose flour and we're just gonna start with putting that straight into the mixer. I've taken a little bit of warm water, two ounces and one ounce of yeast, and I've just let it sit. This has probably been sitting for about 20 minutes, and it just helps activate the yeast. And here I have approximately two quarts of cold water. We're just gonna add this into here, and then we're gonna add it all into the dough, so. and we are going to take all of this and we're gonna add it all into the flour mixture. This first round, you're gonna to wanna to just mix on the lowest speed available for your particular mixer or food processor um, for 10 minutes. All right, so after the first 10 minutes, um, we're gonna add about three ounces of organ sea salt. Kosher salt will work as well, um, but I just like the extra bit of flavor um, that the flaky organ sea salt gives you. So you're just gonna add that right into there. And then we're gonna close it right back up. We're gonna set a timer for another five minutes and we're gonna let it do its thing. while you wait, you can always come out and purchase some of the 2019 Brooks Rosé. As you can see, I've been enjoying it. It's a good bottle to have while you're making some pizza dough because it is a very long process. Cheers. Very last ingredient is going to be some extra virgin olive oil. This is about an ounce and a half and you're just gonna add that right in to the mixture. And you can see it's all coming together pretty nicely in there. And we're just gonna let this go five more minutes and then our dough is gonna be done. Now our dough is completely done. So to hold this, you need it to rest for about um, 24 hours and you're gonna wanna put it in an airtight container. Make sure you spray the container with a little bit of uh, cooking spray. I'll kind of scrape it a little bit of ways off the pan. And then I will kind of cheat and pick it up. And it will just, gravity will take its course and start to pull it down. I'm just gonna put a lid on it and then go ahead and refrigerate it for at least 24 to 48 hours. And then we'll go from there. So this is pizza dough that's sat for 24 hours. To portion this, you're just going to want to lightly dust a clean surface area with a little bit of all-purpose flour. And then we're gonna pull some of this dough out right now. For an 11 to 12 inch size pizza, if you have a scale, you can weigh it out to eight ounces. Otherwise, just go ahead and eyeball it. You're gonna wanna take it and just kind of fold all of the dough into each other, like so. So the ugly part is kind of on the bottom and then you are gonna wanna flip it around, a little bit of flour, and you're gonna take it, and I usually use my two pinkies, you're gonna to wanna to pull it down and just keep rotating the dough. 
and this is gonna be ready to go for an individual portion of pizza dough. Also, don't forget more wine. Always more wine. Always. It's so, it's so good. <laughs> Now that you have your dough, you're going to want to let it sit for about two hours at room temperature just so that it's easier to stretch. Cold dough, not going to work as good. You're going to start by just pushing um, about an inch away from the outside of the crust so it has a little bit of a lip on it. So once you get it about this big, this is where you're going to want to start stretching it with your hand. If you use a roller, it's going to push all the air out of the end of the crust and then it will just be completely flat. So I will kind of take it and I use my knuckles and my thumbs and I'll just keep stretching a little bit and you wanna put it on a lightly floured board. And today we're gonna to make uh, the little heat pizza, a little bit of olive oil, just a little drizzle. And then we're going to take some raw garlic and this I just put into a food processor and chopped. Add a little bit of spinach. We're going to take some salami. Put it right on top. Got a little bit of olives here as well. And some just roasted serrano peppers and you can just do these in your oven or if you have a fryer, you can throw them in the fryer. And then we're gonna finish it off with a little bit of Parmesan cheese. All right, so now we're gonna take it and you're just gonna wanna set it and lightly slide it right out. So now, we're gonna take a peek and see how it's looking. Stay there just another minute. And this oven is at 700 degrees right now. Ooh. There we go. We're just gonna take it, we're gonna rotate it time and then lastly we're going to take it and I like to dome it at the top just to make sure that the cheese is nice and crispy and then we're just gonna finish it off with a little bit of habanero honey that I made and you just steep some cut habaneros into the honey for about 20 minutes. I'm just gonna put just a little bit on there. And my favorite part of this whole thing <laughs> so that's really good. It goes perfectly. And the 2019 rose was just released this week. So come get a pizza or make a pizza and get some of this. Cheers. Yay!